today I want to talk to you a very special day that is coming up on Saturday, September 23rd, 2017. I have seen a lot of videos that um, the world is going to end on this day. It's not going to happen, don't worry about it. I'm not supporting any of these theories. And some Christian group believe that all the saints, the Christian saints are going to be taken up into the sky. God is taking them up which is prophesied is going to happen but also the date saturday the 23rd 2017 you know in september it's also not the date for that one it's not going to happen what is so special about this day and why there are so many videos out there and so many theories out there is that there is a very very special star constellation I usually don't talk about um, star constellation and the moon and there's the blood moon and all these things because yes they happen and they are signs and sometimes they will show us the way but this star constellation is very 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 different and it's very significant um, they say that it only happens about every six to 7,000 years and so it is happening on Saturday again and of course there was a very special star constellation with Jesus birth as we know the three wise men who saw the stars who predicted they knew that the new king would have would be born and they traveled to him to worship him they seen it in the stars and so again, on Saturday, we are going to have a very, very special car star constellation that is so different because it's been prophesied in scripture in the Bible for almost 2000 years now. And I want to read you the scripture to it. And I will show you also a picture of the star constellation so you can relate a little bit to it. But let me first read what it says in the prophecy and it's in the um, book of revelation chapter 12 and right at the beginning it says now and it's all prophetic here now a great sign appeared in heaven a woman clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet and on her head a garland of 12 stars then, being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. And this is actually a star constellation that is happening, and let me show you. So you can see here, the moon is underneath her feet, just like the prophecy said. This is the sign of the Virgin, and the sun is right beside her, really shining on her, closing her. And then we see the crown, which consists of the star constellation of Leo, which represents also um, royalty, and the three planets plus will be 12 stars crowning her head. And then we have the Jupiter that went for 42 weeks, so it, the period of a pregnancy through her and through her womb, and now giving birth. So this is a special star constellation, as you can see. I want to talk to you um, about the meaning of this and also about the relations with other cultures, without, uh, with other religions that not surprisingly, not by coincidence, are having very special celebration right now. Um, for example, the Jewish community is just celebrating the head of the year, the end of the year, and um, this celebration goes on until Friday night, and then Saturday, exactly the day where the special star constellation happens, is the first day of the new year, the new beginning uh, for the Jewish community. A uh, very special is also that in Hinduism, it has been uh, celebrate. The celebration started, uh, which 
includes Saturday because the celebration goes actually over uh, quite a period of days is um, Naratri. And this is a, a celebration of the female, the divine feminine, um, being victorious over the demons, over the evil. So this is what they're really celebrating. And it's also happened this year to just match those dates. So this is really significant and we should really listen because the story of the divine feminine fighting with the evil in the sky, basically it says in Hinduism scriptures, is happening here too because if we start reading um, a little further, the script says, then being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. And another sign appeared in heaven, behold, a great flary red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his heads. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them on the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and his throne. So um, basically, despite all the, the evil and the uproar war that was against the woman, it happened and God intervened for this birth to be okay. Now, the first birth was the physical birth of Jesus, the child being born to the Virgin, and we have had this um, about 2000 years ago. Now, this birth is a little bit different. This birth is the birth, because it already happened, that Jesus um, overcame death and was already resurrected and is on the throne, this birth is the birth of Christ consciousness. Being able to connect to God the way we want to. It is so much easier to be able to connect to God through meditation and to just connect to Him. The Holy Spirit is going to come down and we're going to have a power really being released from God to us to help us to connect to Him. So this is a very, very, very special date for us. And we should all celebrate Saturday, this so, so special day. And remember the Divine Feminine. This is the time of the Divine Feminine. There was an era of the Father, an era of the Son, and it is the era of the Divine Feminine even the signs of the stars are showing it and the mother bringing Christ consciousness onto the earth, releasing, birthing Christ consciousness to the earth in form of the Holy Spirit. And this is so, so special. And there have been paintings in Christianity for decades and decades about this divine femininity ruling the earth. Here I'm showing you only a few pictures of the Divine Mother, the Lady of all nations, our Mother, our Divine Mother that we should be celebrating on Saturday. So it is time to celebrate Christ Consciousness that even Paramahamsa Yogananda even in the traditions of Hinduism, they have talked about this. They wanted to create a spiritual cathedral that will touch all people. And this Christ consciousness is not only touching Christianity, it's touching all nations. We're all coming together and being able to connect to God and see the truth, Christ consciousness. I wish you a wonderful Saturday make a great day out of it and you can look in the stars maybe you have clear skies maybe you can see the special star constellation 
that is happening and over Jerusalem it's supposed to be able to be the best view of this star constellation but I'm sure we get the picture all over the world. So let's celebrate.